Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another room testing beer review and another pills from uh, Saxony. This is from um, the uh, Freiberger Brauerei and it's of course uh, Freiberger Pils, which is uh, a classic and uh, a really good looking bottle in my opinion. With the label golden, dark green, white and they're golden and red logo right here that you can see it's the top label and of course I'll show you the cap as well of Freiberger Pils uh, and um, yeah, it gives a really nice impression to me of course I'll give you a link to the brewer's website also in the description box below as I used to do so you can uh, find out more information about this brewer and the other beers that they're having and the history and the tradition and so on but it gives a really nice impression to me and uh, as I mentioned the, I think the label also is looking very decent and nice just the way um, I want from a high quality premium uh, German pills so I hope it's gonna taste as good as uh, I expect uh, Freiberger Brauhaus uh, getreu dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot Herbe Frisches Pils It's like 1850 and Herbe Frisches Pils is of course good That's what I want from a German Pils The fresh herbs and the hops bitterness taste that is so refreshing Herbe Frisches Pils Freiberger Pils is sächsische Braukunst aus dem traditionsreichen Erzgebirge. Natürlich frisch und voller Charakter. Ein Bier so authentisch wie seine Gesch Geschichte. Ein Bier, bei dem man bleibt. Zutaten Wasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen, Hopfenextrakt. Freiberger Brauhaus GmbH. Freiberg, Sachsen. And the link to the British website is also here on the back label Freiberger Pils DE. So the Pils is of course their main beer, they do have other ones as well. <clears throat> Alcohol content is 4.9 which is very typical for the style. Uh, I can show you the other one that I'm having from this brewery, the other beer that I'm gonna review in the future and it's their Keller beer and it's called Edel Keller. And it looks like this. Naturtrüb, uh, of course, that's what a Kellerbier always is. Um, and it's gonna be interesting. Because um, it's always nice with a Kellerbier and it's always ni nice with uh, a Pils too, of course. So this seems like a very nice brewery to me. Um, uh, some history about the brewery, of course. Uh, as I said, it comes from Saxony. So it's uh, East Germany, as you uh, know, those of you who understand or know German geography, which uh, in my opinion you should, if you follow this channel. Uh, on August 11, uh, 1850, the Kommunbrauhof zu Freiberg was opened by the Freiberg Brewing Cooperative. The Freiberg Brewery was the first brewery in Saxony to brew a Pilsner style beer under the name Freiberger Böhmisch in 1863. In 1898 it changed its name to Bürgerliche Brauhaus Freiberg AG, one of the first public limited companies in Germany. After the Second World War Freiberg was the in the Soviet occupation zone, later GDR. The brewery lost its legal status as a stock corporation in 1946. In 1948 it became a state-owned company. The three owners were expropriated and later incorporated into the VAB beverage combine Karl Marx Stadt. Um, after the end of the GDR the company was taken over by Eichbaum Brauerei AG. Uh, in Mannheim and merged into Actris AG by SAP founder Dietmar Hopp in 2000. During this time new operating facilities were built on the northern outskirts and the old company sites on the outskirts were abandoned, only the brewery restaurant remained. In May 2006 the company was sold re retrospectively to the Radberger Group on January 1st 2006. 
which at that time already owned three Saxon breweries. In 2006, Heidelgel produced more than a million hectoliters uh, in a year for the first time. So uh, quite interesting history uh, coming from Saxony have been uh, suffered um, during changes under the um, uh, GDR, East Germany, Soviet uh, political uh, changes. Uh, but uh, I'm glad they're still existing. They've been uh, saved by Radeberg Group, which is a really big brewery group, as you know. They own a lot, lot, lot of breweries and brands. And you can check out more about that if you want. Um, but this is going to be interesting to, to taste, in my opinion. I have high expectations and think it's going to be really nice and refreshing in, uh, in its taste. Give you one last look of the great looking label right here of uh, Freiberger Pils. Does look good, doesn't it? With its logo right here. Founded 1858. Nice color combination, I must say that. Uh, Freiberger Brauhaus, site 1858. Yeah, really looking nice. So this one is going to be interesting to try. And uh, I think it's time for the tasting part. So let's open this one up. The Freiberger Pils. And let's pour it up, of course. There we have it. The Freiberger Pils. Looks really good with this cold and golden color, in my opinion. Can show it closer to you. Really nice color on the white foam head too, which is important to build up and maintain all the way through. Uh, while you drink, it keeps the taste in the glass. This is a compact white head, which is uh, also showing uh, quality, in my opinion. Um, Looks typical for the style with the small bubbles and nice, very pale yellow color of it. So uh, I bet this is going to be exactly what I want from a fresh uh, German pills. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, uh, just as I thought, really, really refreshing with its um, um, hops taste that is so um, appearing so much. Really, really nice and fresh. Uh, this far perfect German pills and perfect pills uh, generally. German pills are of course the best and this is really, really high quality in the ingredients. That's why I can taste really obvious with the hops. Just as it is always with the, with the pills. So Let's taste it. Prost, the Freiberger Pils. Yeah, it's great, of course. Um, really, really nice, fresh hops taste, and the herbs gives uh, this a perfect. Perfect balance, uh, pills taste, just the way you want it from uh, from a fresh German pills. So um, it's absolutely great, great example of the style. Really, really refreshing. Um, as you know, you've been following this channel. I really, really love pills. It's an absolutely amazing style because it has this unique freshness in the taste thanks to the uh, to the strong uh, herbs and hops bitterness taste which is so easy to um, 
to know it and so refreshing and so great. So it's it's really really great this one. Five Elgin pills. Definitely something you should uh, should try in my opinion. Um, meanwhile go and uh, check out their website in my opinion and I really look forward to try their Kindle beer also. Uh, which I did show you. This is really great pills. Uh, that's what I can say. And I think I'm allowed to say that after the beers that I'm trying that this is definitely a really really great one it's not just average it's, it's uh, really great yes yeah, so nice <clears throat> really easy to enjoy so um this one is um something that you maybe are longing for during a um, hot summer day or something um, to uh, have the the um, pleasure to uh, to uh, enjoy a cold Feibelge pills because it's really really refreshing and nice in every way really well balanced and fantastic that's my opinion <coughs> And I'll show it to you once again because it looks so good. Five bag of pills, in my opinion. It was a great one. Really premium in uh, the quality and the, the taste, also. And that's important to me um, to, uh, to care about quality and to, to choose the best ones. And this is a really, really good one. That's very obvious. That's it, that's for now. I think with the Freiberger pills. And um, as you was to say, hope you um, like my reviews, continue to follow my channel. Um, support the channel with uh, like commenting and subscribing and everything like that and um, yeah i see you again in the next german beer review which will be coming quite soon as always